Welcome back guys to another how-to guide or tutorial. Um, I've got a, quite a few requests on how to use uh, fly with uh, uh, utilize traffic. Um, so I will show you how to set it up. Um, yeah, so the first fi thing you need to do is download uh, Fly. Um, you simply go to the first link in the video description below. And you will see this beautiful website. Um, so you simply go to the download. And download the Fly Operations Center. Uh, when it's downloaded, you simply install it and open the software. Um, the first thing you need to do is to choose between P3D version 4 with or without dynamic lights. I've chosen shows, shows with dynamic lights. Um, the next thing is to set a installation path. I've created a new folder inside, inside my D drive. Uh, simply save and update. I'm already updated. Uh, the fir first time you run this, it takes like 10 minutes to download all the libraries and config files. Um, when it's done, you head over to the second link in the description and it will take you to AVSIM forum and here you'll see the, uh, the software that uh, makes this possible it's called AI to UTL injector uh, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the Microsoft OneDrive link. And that takes you to, to the download page. You simply download this zip file and extract it to anywhere you want, uh, basically. Here's mine, extracted. Um, as you can see, you have a bunch of files. You also got a great manual, but it can be a bit tricky. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, open up this settings.json uh, file. Simply open it with notepad, as you can see here. Uh, 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 we have a few lines here. Uh, by default, you will have MISC AI and you will have a path here. You will have uh, one more, I think, by default. Simply remove the paths. It will say, like, I don't know, something like this. Simply remove it. So it's empty. And the next thing is to find the utilize repaints.xml file. And it is at this location. Let's make this bigger. It's on the C root, users, your username. App data roaming flight one software utilize data. Here you'll see you have the repaints.xml file. First thing you do is make a copy of this one. It's always good to have a backup. Simply re rename it or whatever. And next thing is to copy this path 
you see I've already done it and pay attention you need to insert uh, double uh, where is it backslash or forward slash yeah it's backslash uh, I don't know why but it needs to be there so make sure you have double backslash next thing is to insert the path to where you've downloaded the fly liveries and you need to go all the way to the airplanes folder okay that's important when you've done that you simply save this file you minimize this one and open up the .exe with admin privileges you should see something like this no errors or anything like that and you simply hit the inject repaints that way it takes the uh, the fly liveries and merges or replaces uh, the utili ones as you can see here it replaced 1055 liveries out of 4200 um, you will get some errors here you can manually edit it if you want um, you get a error log here and it simply says invalid aircraft config file uh, I haven't uh, paid any attention to this um, simply I don't give a shit in this it's just too much work to fix all of these so um, as it say here it creates a new file named blah 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 replacement result .xml. here we go it's here so it's pretty much a new uh, repaints.xml file with the fly uh, liveries inserted. In the past, uh, some people have done this all manually, but that takes a lot of time. So this is the easiest way. So, Next up is to close the injector tool and cut this new XML file and paste it into the uh, utilize data folder and remove the old repaints.xml new one you simply rename to repaints.xml there we go the new uh, XML file with the fly libraries fully working with uh, utilive uh, traffic software It wasn't that hard, wasn't it? So there you go guys. How to make fly liveries work with UT Live traffic. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you on Facebook everyone.